Um, I'm going to ask you a question I ask every single coach that comes on here, and you being a former D1 assistant um, is going to help me with this. What does it take for a guard to play at the D1 level? Because remember, every guard you and I talk to wants to, you know, pretty much cross the board do that. So what's your advice? Well, yeah, well first off, they have to be a Division One athlete. Like, like you have to be an athletic kid. If you don't move well laterally and you can't keep your man in front of you, then you're probably not going to be a division one kid. Whereas like myself, I knew I was a phenomenal shooter. I watched Larry Bird as a kid. That was my number. I thought I shot the ball as well as Larry Bird, but I wasn't six foot nine and I wasn't as skilled as he was. Um, so these kids say they're great shooters, but again, when you get to the next level, those guys that are guarding you are so much more athletic and so much quicker and a lot of times taller, you know, like watch, watching the Celtics play last night. The reason why they're so competitive is they can switch one through five. They're just so good at all those different positions. Kids can work on ball handling. Kids can get themselves as strong as humanly possible. Kids can work on their three point shot, but if you can't keep your guy in front of you, you're going to struggle getting a division one scholarship. So probably the athleticism and the size to be able to compete against those guys night in, night out. Interesting. So when you were at Robert Morris, did you guys have smaller guards? I guess you did. They just were very athletic then, right? Strong, yeah, they, 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 they still, they were smaller. And again, we were in the NEC. They were thicker or they were tougher okay. or they did something really, really well. They Passed the ball really well, shot it really, really well. But when I was at Ron Morris, we just got the toughest kids humanly possible. Our kids were New Jersey kids, Philadelphia kids. And not that, not that there aren't tougher kids elsewhere, but New York City guards, Philly guards, you know, Newark kids. It just They're just a tougher brand of kids that will rip your face off you know, to get a loose ball or to make that one big play. Uh, and not that other kids won't, but we try to recruit a toughness that we may not, may not, we have got it at a higher level. You know, they may be looking for someone tall. We just had to get the toughest kids humanly possible. 